There we go. Okay, so I've played a little bit since I last streamed because I've been recording episodes. So it'll look a little different, but not too much different. We're in the summer time now, and that's about the biggest difference. Um, uh, I my character has so much riz that um I have somehow got uh where is it at? Let me. Let me sort. There we go. For some reason, Macy likes me the best, and I haven't given them a single gift. I don't know what I'm doing to Macy, but apparently she likes it. <laughs> oh. The struggle is real. Oh my gosh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? If that was the first words. I literally have done nothing to Macy. I've talked to them like maybe five times. And every time I talk to them, it seems to get me a heart pretty much. Uh. Was. Oh, Mama and Dada. Okay, that makes sense. So she called us Mama Dada. <laughs> Oh, so it was always one word. It was never separate. It was Mama Dada, like, uh, all together. Okay. And then this does not have a sprinkler yet. Also, the 1.1 update, from what I'm seeing, should con um, conclude the storyline. Because they're calling it the, like, end of story update or something. So this is a plus for... Coral Island. This is a new game. I have switched- oh shoot, you're right, I need to switch the- You know, I'm glad you said something. I need to switch the... Category. Shh. I'm glad you said something, Quartz. Thank you. I don't know if you intended to remind me, but I'm glad you said something. There we go. We are now in the Coral Island category. So, let's see. I'm going to need another chest. There's my crop chest. Yeah, see? Oh, that's one of the offerings. That's good to know. Currently, she likes to say... Daddy, hi, dog. Oh, whenever she wants to play with her dog or when she asks for it. She sounds adorable. Anytime I think of a kid asking to pet a dog, I think of that meme that, can I pet that dog? Have you guys seen that? You sent an email two hours ago and got a call back just now. It's 3 a.m. What? Are they from a different country? Like, is it a different time zone? Who makes a phone call at 3 a.m.? Sounds awful. So the peppers will keep producing. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know if I just need one for the offering. I'm basically going to what's essentially the community center, but it's a temple. I'm gl Yeah, that was so nice of you, Mr. Struggles. I appreciate that message. It was very sweet. I even told my husband, I was like, oh my gosh, look. Uh... I've been having an issue where I want to play so many games that I don't know, like I get decision paralysis in trying to decide what to play. Um, I wanted to upgrade my tools and I need more money. And so I'm also like, was going to, through the mine caves a little bit the last time I played. It was so funny because one of the days I played and it's in one of the videos that I'll upload, 
I kept thinking I had more money than I did, and it was just chaos, because I'd, I'd get all the stuff I need, run to the blacksmith, and be like, oh, I don't have the money, then take it all back, and then literally 10 minutes later, forget that I just did that, and I did it again. I'm sure it was very annoying. It's going to be very annoying for whoever watches that video. Ah, oh, it's an American company. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess it depends on where they're at in America, because... Technically, if they're on the West Coast, it would be like 5.30, which some companies are, you know, open or work until 6 and stuff. So that could actually be plausible. Every time I think I want to start Coral Island, you remember your Stardew? See, I played enough Stardew that I don't feel guilty. Seventeen months and knows so much. Oh, she's so big. She's growing so fast, though. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago that you guys had her. You played Stardew last night and was on Ginger Island and Elliot was shirtless. Hello, I'm going to have to play again. Oh, yeah, the season outfit mod. Oh, I was like, hold on. I've never modded a game. Uh, Baldur's Gate's gonna get mod support this fall. And I'm like, yes! This is my moment, my first modded game, I know it. I just kinda like, forgot I had to, he was gonna hit me back. Marianne was judging Elliot for being shirtless at the beach. Wait, what? But he probably looked great, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, super scary though. Never had to be professional in your life. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, but they're getting me in contact with someone. That's so nice. At least it sounds like they were uh, really cool about it. Extremely helpful. Yeah, I just fake my professionalism. <laughs> fake it till you make it. Oh. Ugh, I hate being professional. It's so exhausting. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I'll take a shirtless Elliot. I, I won't lie. I almost played Baldur's Gate on stream again today. I was like, I'm not going to make you guys suffer through that again. Just because I have an extreme obsession. I surpassed over 400 hours in Baldur's Gate the other day. I didn't mean to hit you! I didn't mean to hit you! Uh, wait, 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 wait! I just want that ore. You'll send me a screenshot of Beach Elliot next time? Heck yeah, that's a true pal right there. Oh, wait, no, 400. But yeah, it's let. You know, I'm actually surprised it's not more than that, too. But I think it's literally because I do, like, YouTube videos. I think if I didn't record other YouTube videos and games, I'd probably have more. I also had, like, a short stint where I didn't play for a few months, as re like, religiously. Why? Where the heck is this hole? I've literally burnt all my energy on this one... Oh, I hate when I accidentally hit the rock. You've played more Stardew than that? Listen, I've had the game a year! <laughs> uh. Wait, Ellie, 700 in Stardew? Wow! I mean, I know my highest played game is like 1200 hours and I'm embarrassed at the game it is, but... You know, it is what it is. Man, 700 hours is crazy. You know, I think I have like 400 in Animal Crossing now that I think about it. Let's not talk about the hours I have on random games. 
Like, if I was that dedicated to other stuff, I might be a millionaire or something. But here- so, okay, so here's the thing, though. I still do occasionally feel guilty about playing games. But here's the thing. If you had fun at the time you played it, then you shouldn't feel bad about it. Yeah, you could have done, like, something else more productive or something a bit more fun. But if you had fun in the moment, that's all that matters in the end. Plus, you'll look back on, for the most part, unless you're like me where it's like a thousand hours and you played Overwatch, but like, for the most part, you'll look back on fond memories. But yeah, I get you looking at like, you know, 500 hours in Baldur's Gate, but at the same time too, like another thing, especially with multiplayer games, um, like Baldur's Gate or Overwatch in particular, I'm using that as an example because that's my most played game, sadly. Um, <laughs> even though I just said don't feel bad. Um, wow, I didn't find, like, get five floors even close, but... Um, I played a lot of those with friends or family, and so that's always, like, a lot of fun. Thinking about that. Oh, no! League, I would- yeah, that's- L League players have sunk many a lives into League of Legends. Oh, man. How- can I ask how many hours, or would you rather not say courts? Uh, let's see. 3.2. Okay, that sounds about right. I could see that. Also, guys, look what I found on this. Um, they thought of everything. Let's say I want to look for Theo. I can just hit his character. And then look, find NPC. He's in the community center. Ta-da! Oh, hello. Hi, Yuri. Okay, I'm not usually one to care about trees and all that, but even I've got to admit the that one... That one's looking a lot better lately. Make the whole place look a bit brighter, doesn't it? Oh, liar, no, you have 2.8 on Terraria. Ooh, nice. I played Terraria for a while. My issue was I didn't have enough people to play with consistently. And that's one of those games that I just don't like to play by myself, you know? Where's the community center? Oh, it's up there. I went the wrong way. This guy's just in his underwear. <laughs> it's probably like a speedo suit or something. I want to... I'm interested in playing Sea of Thieves a bit. Uh, do you like candy? No, no, no. Walk, Waku. Hey, thanks for thinking of me. Yay! I actually don't know what I was hoping to give Theo. I have no idea what Theo would want, but I don't think it's anything I have. <laughs> Ooh, Genshin Impact, yes. I know many of people with thousands of hours in Genshin Impact. I have not dated anyone, so I'm not very far, un admittedly. I'm only in, like, the first summer. Uh, because I've been trying to record these episodes, like, these as I go. Which means I've only got, like, 20 hours, unfortunately. But, uh, I'm debating between Theo, Eva, and Waku right now. But I want to get to know them, so I want to get their hearts up. Isn't Alice cute? Oh, and I also like, uh, where's she at? I like Lily. Lily is a, works for a cybersecurity company. And I think she's kind of cute. Um, but this is Theo. Well, we're cycling through outfits. And then my friend told me I'd like Waku. So I'm trying to get to know Waku. So I can 
see if I'll actually like him. Now, here's the catch, though. In the 1.1 update, merfolk are going to be romanceable. And I haven't met him yet, but there is a merfolk that uh, has my eye. And we'll see. And hello! I'm just, uh, I'm gonna say HG... H... Gillian? Hello! Um, I am not that far, so unfortunately I have no uh, advice for you. I'm very early in the game. I picked it up during the summer sale. Let's see, it is nighttime. Oh, look at that, I leveled up farming. Makeshift arch, that is the silliest looking arch I've ever seen. Yeah, I just got it during the summer sales, so I'm also new to the game. But welcome on in. Ah, oh, it is raining. We love a good rain so then I don't have to water the crops. Okay, nothing needs picked. Um, I want tools and ore. There we go. Ah, you play it on Xbox. Nice! Yeah, I think it's on most consoles, except for uh, Switch. It has not released on Switch yet. They're working on it. There is stuff in there. What did I put in there? I put a coffer in there. Hmm. I can't remember how much it cost to upgrade my tools. I also had Quest. I gotta not forget. A tomato for Paul. The tree planting festival, I believe, is on the... Oh, no, that's the one I missed. Papaya. Okay. Ooh, you play on Xbox, too. Is it on Game Pass, or is it... Um... You had to purchase it. I can't remember, if, or I mean, assuming you have Game Pass. A chance for the soil to stay watered overnight. Oh, preserves fruits and vegetables. Oh. Ah, nice. That's like, oh, of course, enjoy. The game pass is nice. I heard they're raising the prices, unfortunately. I'm gonna try the cave again. But it seems like a nice... A nice gig. I don't know why, but I just like having all my games in the same library. So... Uh, I like having them on Steam. Ooh, okay, Marianne. We're back. Hopefully I can find the next floor very quickly this time. Ah, very quickly. That was way quicker than I thought. Uh, you made your first Viking jam. Ooh, got a starter. Okay, hold on though. What is a Viking jam? You're mining too, nice. Good luck in the mines. I'm just trying to get down to the next floors as quick as possible. I don't know how anyone else does it, but the way I typically do caves in any farm sim is I try to get to the next floor as quickly as possible. 
And then, oh ho! Uh, and then I'll go back to the previous floors to explore. But, unfortunately, I'm not having good luck with these floors. It's a jam that has alcohol. It's a super old way to preserve fruits and berries before sugar was readily available. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's really cool. I'm gonna have to look into this. That sounds super interesting. Ah, oh, thank you for the follow as well. I hope you enjoy your stay. I need to update the schedule down below, by the way. I think Wednesdays is going to be the stream time for a while. Um, assuming it works out. I, I have to go in the office now, Tuesdays through, like, Thursdays, which I think a lot of companies are doing. They're doing, like, a, a three days in the week kind of hybrid thing. Oh, that's been exhausting. It's, I think, from... <laughs> When you go from not seeing people daily to seeing lots of people daily um, after a couple of years, it's very exhausting and like, oh, it's gotten a lot better though. It's going been better these past few weeks than it had like a couple months ago. Um, uh, what in the world? Uh, that's cool. Like, I was definitely super tired from trying to converse with people. I... How do I explain this? Um, I guess I get anxiety easily. I get stressed out because, like... At least with work, I want to give off the best impression I can. Because obviously anybody wants to get, like, either promotions or raises and stuff like that. And I just overthink every conversation I have. You know, like, when you say something, then you walk off and you're like, Oh, that was so dumb. Why did I say that? That's me constantly. Even if it wasn't even that dumb. Man. The game is like out to get me for these next five caves. There it is. You can make it using berries, wine, and yeast. Ah, that's what the starter was for. See, that's what threw me off. <laughs> I knew a starter was related to yeast, but... I didn't know it could be used to do stuff like that. But then I thought there might be like another starter that I'm not not thinking about. Oh, similar to kombucha. Okay. Oh, I made it to 25. Oh, perfect. Well, I'm not going to make it any further than that, but I might as well just go ahead and hammer. It's literally just the wine with no water. Bleh, I couldn't talk. Interesting. Oh, it's, uh, the game says I'm feeling tired. Nothing more satisfying than reaching a checkpoint. I know, especially in a cave, it's literally the worst when you get to like, let's say 24 out of 25 and you run out of stamina. Oh, I hate that so much. <laughs> I don't get angry. I'm just like, ugh, I feel defeated. I, 
I can't remember, does it cost stamina to like pick things up off the ground? Because I know Waku likes these. It doesn't. Oh, amazing. I can forage then. Huh. Oddly placed piece of wood that I'm going to have to chop when I get my axe completely upgraded. Also, if you get, I think it's like three or four, three or five flowers or something, you can make a bouquet. So I, and uh, Theo likes bouquets. Oh, hi, Waku. Perfect timing. Wait, don't walk around me. Hey, thanks for thinking of me. Oh, wait, I should probably talk to him, like actually communicate with them. I'm expecting more rain in the summer. Let's hope my expectations are met. Or else. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, was that a chicken in his pocket? Uh, Yep, he's got a chicken on his shirt pocket. I'd love to chat, but I want to make you stay out here in the rain. Oh, well, that's nice of him. Look at him thinking. Hello! Welcome on in! Uh, do you care if I call you Otter? I don't know if that's actually supposed to be two words. So if you don't like Otter, let me know. Well, welcome on in! How are you? Thanks for the follow. Did Waku walk in circles? Did Waku walk in circles? <laughs> I shouldn't make fun of his name like that, but... Oh. Ah, Cyan or Otter. Perfect, perfect. Is Cyan how you pronounce it, or is it like Xion? I probably ruined it, which is why I went for Otter. I'm like, Otter's a safe bet. Hello! Watch your step, it's super slippery. Oh, you know, see, that's the thing. I would completely fall in this rain. More like Xion. Okay, cool. Oh, you love otters! Yep, yeah, otters are so cute. I think otters are adorable. I really want to do, like... I know a lot of zoos, not like a lot of zoos, but I know there's some zoos in like the United States where you can swim with otters. And my husband tells me they're smelly, even though I think they're so cute or like they're probably smelly, I guess he says. Um, but I was like, I was, I, if I ever get the chance, I'm swimming with an otter. Yeah, I don't remember where, though. Oh, uh, one of my friends had done it before when she traveled. I know you can swim with dolphins in some places, too, because I've done that. Oh, I I shouldn't have chopped that. Now I'm very tired. Uh, the dolphin swimming was fun. But then they were like, kiss the dolphin on the, the its nose. And this was after, okay, so keep in mind, this is like 2018 or something, okay? Somewhere around there. And they wanted me to kiss this dolphin. This was after four other people kissed this dolphin. And I'm like, there is no way I'm doing that. Like, we have a photo of me somewhere where I'm looking at the camera. Well, I didn't look at the camera directly, but the cameraman got this photo of my face where I'm like, there's no way you're making me do this. And I can't remember if I ended up doing it or not. I don't remember. But my husband thought the photo was so funny that we have a copy of this photo because he bought it because of how silly I looked in it. Um, not wanting to kiss the dolphin. Now here's the funny thing though. Everyone's like, oh, it, it's, it dips its nose in the salt water. You're gonna be fine. It won't be a big deal. But you know that there are so many people now that would not kiss that otter, or not kiss that dolphin. I had otter on the brain. Like a ton of people would not get anywhere near that dolphin now. 
I, I even asked them, I'm like, would you guys kiss it? I asked, uh, asked my in-laws. And they're like, no. I was like, exactly, I wasn't crazy. Oh, wait, do they stack? <gasps> I can give Theo tons of bouquets. You wouldn't kiss a dolphin either, but maybe an otter? Well, yeah, otters are so cute. You're taking Mads on her second vacation? Is she swimming with a dolphin? Have you seen that video of a girl making out with a wolf? No! <laughs> what? Oh, that sounds like a interesting video, to put it politely. Ugh. You guys know that audio that's been on TikTok? The brother, ugh. What's that? That's that's my reaction to that. I've heard there's also zoos where you can like interact with a lemur. And I want to interact with a lemur. You spend too much time on TikTok. I knew it was TikTok audio. I've seen it on Instagram. I've actually never downloaded TikTok because I didn't want to get like sucked into the to the TikTok craze, even though I watch a sad amount of videos on Instagram. Ugh. A coworker had a bachelor at party where they were on a yacht and sailed on an island off Miami that is known to have raccoons. And she kissed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, couldn't she have just given it a hug? Does she know that their nicknames are trash pandas? Oh, they're not they're not prepared yet. Raccoons are cute, but I wouldn't touch or kiss any. Yeah, neither would I. Raccoons can be mean, too. I've luckily never dealt with a mean raccoon, but they can they can get vicious, so you gotta be careful, especially if they have babies. They can be really nice, too. Oh my gosh, look at this sunflower. It's so cute. Hi. Did anybody need a sunflower, or was that... Oh, that was the offering. That's right, it was the offering. You worry for humanity every day? Miss struggles. I do too. Oh man, I do too. Sometimes they do stuff and I'm like, you know, my faith is restored. And then other times I'm like, never mind, it's gone. It's gone as quickly as it came. You let your dog kiss. Ugh. See, I don't like dog kisses either, but I don't, I know a lot of people don't mind. Oh no, it has to be bronze quality! Oh, did I buy enough? I don't remember what all I bought, to be honest. You haven't seen a raccoon in your life? Oh! They're- I mean, they vary in size. I've seen a really big one and it had babies and I got out of there so fast. I opened up the door to my house and, well, okay, it was at my parents' house, so it was their house. And I opened the door, and outside the door, uh, we had, like, cat food at the time, because we had one outside cat. And, well, I guess they were, like, outside, inside. They didn't, like, roam off, but we let them in and out of the house, and they were perfectly fine. And the... There's this big raccoon. I mean, this thing was big. Biggest raccoon I've ever seen, anyways. And it was with, like, four little babies. And I'm just like... Oh, crap! And I slam the door shut and run off to go tell my parents so we can get the cat inside from a different door. It was such a big raccoon. You don't mind dog kisses either? Oh, your dog's kisses. See? I don't want any dog kisses. Even if I had a dog. I don't know. Something about dogs licking me grosses me out. You have a lot of Eurasian otter there. Sadly, no raccoons. You'd love to see a raccoon. They're cute. They're cute. They're just interesting creatures. I also walked by a possum one time. It was like me and my group of friends back in like college. And we walked by... We, excuse me. We walked by a trash can. Was this open? Oh, apparently now. We walked by a trash can. And we froze because we saw this creature. 
It was an it was a possum. And the possum's just looking at us, and we're like six inches from this possum, guys. That's how close we were to the trash can. And it's just looking at us, and we just stared for like a good minute at each other. <laughs> oh, it was really funny. And then we left. Possum was fine. Uh, Boba has some disgusting stuff in her mouth, so I get it. <laughs> I came home, and you was like... Boba has been assaulted. Oh no, wait, what did Boba get into? Oh, one of my dog's neighbors, or one of my neighbors smokes and fully made out with my dog. Eww! <laughs> oh. Wait, did it say permanent? Oh, it said currently. I thought it said permanently closed. Uh. Okay, so I can go in even when they're closed. Nine to seven. It's 9.30. Or is today like, did it say Wednesday they're closed? I'm sorry guys, my brain is not braining. <laughs> closed on Wednesdays, shoot. Okay, well, oh well. <gasps> Doggy! Taco, taco's busy. You're the guy that carries welding gloves. Ah, so you can handle animals. Oh, you live in the countryside, so you get to meet a lot of animals. I see. So I'm guessing if you live in the countryside, it's probably more than just dogs. <laughs> Aren't the pets in this game adorable? They're so precious. There's a whole bunch of them over here too. Look at them. Hi, buddy. Can I can I get to you? No! Oh, there we go. Spiker do! The Dalmatian! Guys, when I was a kid, you wanna know what my hyperfixation was? Dogs. <laughs> I was obsessed. I remember being like real little, like eight, and finding out, um, I think it was the scientific name for wolves is Canis Lupus. And I was so proud of that. I felt like the smartest kid in the world. <laughs> oh. I was such a nerd. I loved dogs when I was a kid, though. I had so many dog books. I liked them so much that my mom got me, like, a dog dictionary. And it would show different photos of dogs and what the breed was like. <laughs> And things they, you know, how energetic they were. You know, typical care things. I was obsessed. Let's see. I don't know how I ended up just foraging for my day, but that's what I ended up doing here. Oh! oh I triggered a scene. Oh, it's- it's- is this Macy? Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, what you up to? Oh, this? <laughs> I'm trying to get a picture of myself with the lighthouse. It's for my mom. I don't usually do stuff like this. If I don't send her one soon, uh, my mom will literally come here and drag me home. Oh. I haven't done anything to romance Macy. Um... I'm not an expert on photography, but I can help out a little. You sure? Thank you. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Give me a smile. There we go. Make that pose. <laughs> oh. That is not what Macy did. Image 1004. Oh, I love that they did that, though. Okay, that looks more like what I took a photo of. Hmm. Wow, these are good. You have an eye for these things, Mello. That was not good. Did you see the second photo? You weren't even in frame. Could you take another one of me over there? The lighting is better. Had to handle anything from rabbits, otters, lynxes. Ooh. And raccoon dogs. 
Uh, we do a lot of trapping and relocating as we have a lot of animals like chickens and such. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. So you lived on a farm then is what it sounds like. If you had chickens and stuff, I, I, I presume. Man, that'd be busy. Does that mean he had to get up super early? I say that like I don't get up super early, but I know like farmers typically, I mean, I guess it depends on what kind of farm work you do, but you typically get up really, really early. Okay, well, I think I remember which one Suki is, but I want to check. Okay, that is Suki. Yep, she's up there on mine. She's cool. I like her too. I don't like her as, well, I mean, I don't know her that well, so I really can't say I don't like her as much as the um, other characters, but yeah. Lily I need to talk to more, but I never see Lily. I assume she's inside. Your childhood fixation was Pokemon? Ma- okay, that was up there too. <laughs> I loved Pokemon and Digimon. Which hasn't changed. My mom- t My whole life, my mom told me to never grow up and stay young at heart forever. You know, I feel like our generation, like, well, at least people in their 20s, like, Anybody under the age of 40, I would say, I'm, I'm speculating here a bit, maybe under 35, we all <laughs> just act like big children a lot. Oh, Pokemon is so good. I loved, I'm pretty sure, I've talked about this before, I'm positive, like, Pokemon probably helped me learn to read better as a kid because when I was like five or six, uh, my parents got me like pokemon yellow and bought me the guidebook for it well i gotta know how to read the guidebook <laughs> so i'm pretty sure that i figured out like how to read better from using the guidebook as a kid while playing pokemon yellow and then digimon digimon's just fun digimon digital monsters digimon are the champions Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. Change into digital monsters to save the digital world. There you go. That's my daily dose of I didn't watch too much Digimon as a kid. <laughs> That's what they do. They get like real low. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the hydrate. And they and they go world and it like goes robotic on you. Ellie, I didn't know you listened or did you watch Digimon? I don't think I knew this. I mean, I assume so. You adopted Luna. Oh, I didn't know you could adopt the pets. That's so cool. You were singing right along, and Mads was like, oh. We gotta teach Mads Digimon. Is, is Mads gonna watch Pokemon and Digimon, you think? I feel like those are... I mean, I watched them when I was like four. I watched lots of things, though, as a kid. That was, I don't want to say not child appropriate. That sounds really bad. But like shows that like a five-year-old probably shouldn't be watching, maybe like 10, I don't know. How old do you think a kid should be before they watch Dragon Ball Z? Like Pokemon's a safe bet, I think. Cause it's, it's pretty kid friendly overall. Like nothing really bad happens. But, like, I also watched Dragon Ball Z when I was, like, five, so... <laughs> uh, I'm like, is that... I don't know, that's probably fine, too. <gasps> she loves Pikachu and Charmander! Okay, she has good taste. Charmanders are the best. You wasn't allowed to watch any of these? Oh. See, this kills my soul. I... I've talked about, like, if I ever have kids... I don't know, like, I don't think I'll ever have kids, I'll be honest. But, like, 
we've talked about like what shows could we let them watch versus not watch and i was like my parents didn't really have much of a filter um on what I watch, so like, I'm, I'm not really picky, but I also am like going to, ooh. Oh no, I turned out the light. I'm also gonna like respect my husband's wishes if we had a kid and he's like, I'd rather they not watch that. I'd be like, okay, that's fair. Uh, you learned Pokemon in college. Nice. See, there's nothing wrong with that though. Uh, didn't I tell you about the pigs? Their names were Peruna and... Oh, you did tell me about this when I was playing Stardew. I think. Oh! You see that? Oh, he's got the slowest attack of all time. She absolutely... Oh, and he told... Misses, she was gonna watch po DBZ with me at five. Yes, let's go. I feel like DBZ's like got a good, a lot of good lessons in my opinion. I could talk about, D I could write an essay over Dragon Ball Z. I don't know what that says about me, but uh, I was such, I love DBZ. She is super into her bonus room where all the statues- Ah, oh, I bet you have to watch her though while she's in there because obviously the figures. The figures are, uh... Don't want them to get broken. My uh, husband recently got into anime, by the way. So like he he was a little bit like he started watching anime after we started dating because I had him watching a few things. But now he's like really into it. He's reading a lot of manga and watching a lot of anime. And he told me today he's actually keeping up with like weekly releases. He's like, I'm watching four uh, shows that are simultaneously like they're releasing on like Crunchyroll, right? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm so excited. She is super. Oh, I read that already. You only let her crawl around a bit. Ah, I see. Oh, Jujutsu Kaisen's on my list. I have not. Admittedly, I have not watched it yet because we wanted to watch it together. Um. We're currently watching, we need to finish Berserk. He's watched Berserk. I have not ever, that's one I never watched. So we're currently got that one. And then we're also finishing up, we've got four episodes left of Magical Girl Madoka. So we're also wrapping that one up. Ooh, One Piece they're remaking. Did you, did you hear about that? I, I was into One Piece a lot during the early days, and then I just didn't keep up. Like, super early. And so I haven't caught up since, but I liked it back in the day. Quite a bit. Yeah, the Netflix series is apparently pretty decent from what I heard. I have not watched it myself, though. This is just word of mouth. I don't have Netflix anymore. Ever since they got rid of their password sharing stuff, I lost access because I was using my parents. You've never watched any anime other than Pokemon when it was on TV? That is an anime. It does count. Ooh, we got mail. Here's the mail. I need a hibiscus flower. If you have any, please send them one my way. More mail? Uh, don't forget the animal festival is tomorrow at nine. Ah, I forgot last time. Okay. Oh, 
Sailor Moon, yeah, it's had... It also had a remake. It was like Sailor Moon Crystal R or something like that. It doesn't I don't know if anybody remembers. Man, I keep hitting these scarecrows when I'm trying to harvest my vegetables. Oh, you chose the same house in Coral Island. Yeah, I like that it was modern and cute. The others felt either like I don't want to say dated. They weren't necessarily dated. But they weren't like, oh, those were ready yesterday. Whoops. They weren't really my vibe. And so this was like semi-modern, but still cute. I, to be fair though, as far as anime goes, I I didn't start re-watching a ton. Like I was kind of off the train for a while in anime. Oh wait, that's already been watered. Because I was, like, obsessively watching a lot of K-dramas. But since I don't have Netflix, I haven't really watched any except for one. And then aside from that, I haven't really watched- we watch YouTube, that's about it. Sailor Moon is life, it was a formative- Oh, nice! Um, is it Tuxedo Mask? Is that his name? The one with the cape and the, the mask on his eyes. Is that his name? I had a friend. I have a friend. I said I had a friend. I have a friend who really, really liked him. And I got... I was able to meet the voice actor and get his autograph for her. That was really cool. That was before we met, though, Ellie. Otherwise, I would have got you one, too. You loved anime when you were 15 and then stopped and restarted. And restarted almost every su summer. <laughs> That's awesome. That makes sense though, because summertime, I mean, I don't know how old you are, but like, if you're still in school or college or something, like, summertime's like the time to do it, you know? I had a friend, period. <laughs> oh. Yep. I had a singular friend. I'm gonna need another bin. A mystery geode. Oh wait, that doesn't go in there. Whoops. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Is it Tuxedo Mask? Okay, I was right. Ah, oh, the Magic School Bus. Gummy Bears, DuckTales. See, none of these I ever watched because I was watching... Um, Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z. Though, uh, I did watch a little bit of Strawberry Shortcake, admittedly. Uh, that and the song is catchy. See, there's no room for this. I'll need more pockets. You recently watched Little Witch Academia? Oh, is it that? I think I know what that is, but I haven't watched it. Uh, the most relatable protagonist I've watched lately was Bochi. Bochi the Rock. It'll be 40 this year. Gotcha. No, no, no. I mean, like... Those were still around when I was a kid. So not necessarily, because those were around between, like... What? Late 80s and most of the 90s, I feel like. Especially, like, DuckTales and Strawberry Shortcake. I remember Strawberry Shortcake when I was um, a little older. So, of course, I think Strawberry Shortcake went into, like, phases. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yes, I know exactly. I was headed to the temple. Now I've got Strawberry Shortcake in my head. I'm literally in my head while chatting with you guys going, like, straw ba 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 berry straw ba 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 berry shortcake 
I know a girl. She is so much sweeter. She's got that special touch. Why can't I remember this? And I can't remember what I had for dinner. Oh, Blue Period's so good. Oh my gosh, I loved that one. I binged it in a day, I think. Because I was like having art block and that one just like unlocked it for me for a while. I was like, oh, I can draw again. 112. Oh, I still haven't hit the 50. I think it's 50 that they need. I'm slacking. I need to catch up. But I guess you're in winter, right? So I, I got time. I can catch up. Yeah, Blue Period was great. I loved it. As an artist and a designer. Uh, that spoke to me. That was a good anime. I'd watch that again. I think it's Netflix only, though. Why Netflix? Winter Day 10. Ooh, I bet I don't get 100 items actually by then. Can you process this for me? Ooh, a gym. How about this one? Oh, I already gotten that. That's lame. Wait a minute. How much does it cost to upgrade the tools? 1500. Ooh, I could do it now. I wanted to upgrade my scythe. So that way I would get trash faster in the in the water. Or at least that was my hope. I need to find Theo. I drew a blank on what I was doing. Oh, it was this. Okay, so I can donate that gym. Perfect. I'll go to the museum. We are off. Oh, nope. I'm getting those first. Wait, can I hit the fire hydrant? Oh. Said inspect. I was hoping I'd kick it and it would like spurt water out or something. Ooh, solo leveling. Okay, solo leveling I need to watch still because I got to like episode six and then Crunchy rolls like there's no episode this week. So here is a recap episode of everything you just watched for like the past four weeks. I'm like, I don't need a recap episode five episodes in and then I haven't watched it since. But man, that first episode hooks you hard. It is so good. The first episode of Solo Leveling, without spoilers for anything, reminds me of the first episode of Invincible. Where you're watching it and then it just goes boom and then it hits you. You get like the real thing. I need to check out Kaiju, though. I have not seen Kaiju. We. Oh, wait, let me see if I can, if Theo's around. Theo's over there. We're going to go say hi to Theo, and then we're going to go. Ooh, you love Invincible. I have not watched season two yet. I'm almost, we're halfway through season two. You read the whole comic in less than a week. Is it, it's not done, though, is it, right? Ooh, isekais are fun. Oh, it is finished. I didn't know this. Maybe I just get impatient and read the comics then. Because I was going to finish the season two on... Oh, wait, is Theo, like, in that really weird... There he is. Um... I'll bring my guitar tomorrow. Ah. Here you go. Great, thank you. Perfect, perfect. Um, I don't remember what I was saying, you guys. Oh yeah, Invincible. Yeah, I was I just need to finish season two. Oh, you saw the first season and then started the comic. That makes sense. That makes total sense. That's what I do with Mongo a lot.
Uh, tired of the real life. Oh, I missed that message. Tired of the real life to video game style shows. Forgot the name, but so leveling immediately got. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Doesn't isekais include fan like going to any world though as well? Like, Ko is it Konosuba, where he dies and then he gets sent to the like fantasy world? That that show is so funny. <laughs> Oh, shoot, let me see. I'm pretty sure it's Kono Soup I'm thinking of. I'm looking, I'm looking up Kono Soup. Make sure. Yeah, it is Kono Soup, but that show's ridiculous. Oh, man. Okay. Oh yes, this is where I left off. It's a mess in here. See, this is why I want to upgrade my... ...thing, is I'm hoping if I upgrade it, it will allow me to go through this stuff faster, because this is such a pain. Ooh, starting to read Berserk. You know, I don't know. I never read manga online. We ended up buying... I used to way back in the day, but... I used to read Naruto online <laughs> as the chapters released. The other thing to keep in mind, which you probably know this, you might know this, you might not, is so unfortunately the creator of Berserk passed away before finishing the series. Um, the series is going to get finished though because he left all his notes and plans to his assistant or one of his assistants, so they are planning to finish the series based on what he had left for them. So, it's a really big bummer. It's like uh, when the creator of Dragon Ball Z passed away this year, I was like so bummed. Like I mentioned earlier, that was like half my childhood. I was obsessed. Ah, finally. So basically, if you haven't played Coral Island, we're down here cleaning up the trash and activating these things. I'm just going to wait a minute because this thing's going to go all over the place. You started one called Trapped in a Dating Sim. Oh, I haven't heard of that one. That could be fun. That sounds really funny, actually. Dating sims are hilarious. Like Atome games. Super funny. I actually like Atome games. Me too, Mr. Struggles. You love Otome games? That's amazing. I haven't played very many, admittedly. The only two that I played, like, through completion is one that... I know it's on the PlayStation. I know they have some on Steam. I don't know if the ones on Steam are any good. Is Hakuoki? And then I also played... Oh, shoot. What's the other one? Uh... Oh, it's like... P.O. Fiore or something like that. It's on the Switch. But it's like about mafia groups. <laughs> it's so, it's such a silly one. That one's ridiculous, to be honest. The only thing is, is I'm really bad at them. I somehow in Atome games always pick the worst possible path that leads to death. Like, so for P.O. I think it's called P.O. Fiore. Uh, I literally had to look up gameplay paths because I every path I took got me killed. Oh, on Nintendo. Yeah, there's tons on the Switch. That's where the Fiore one is. Oh, shoot. Low stamina. My bad. I'm just going to leave this little guy here because I bet you he goes over there and he makes my life a pain. Ah, oh, Junji Ito. My husband loves Junji Ito. Spiral. 
I have not read them. The art admittedly creeps me out. Yeah, Mr. Struggles, that's how I felt too. I was real bummed. That was basically my husband's reaction to Stan Lee when he passed away. And then my and then my reaction was just I was devastated over um Toriyama. One or uh, I read that one. Whoops. On the Switch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Switch has tons. Yeah, there's tons on the Switch. Um, Look up, like, I, I haven't played it, but there's one called, like, something Olympia. And then that's where P.O. I think it's called P.O. Fiore is. There's two of them in that series. But, yeah, they put, um, I think it's Atlas publishes a ton of them on the sw on the switch so and they go on sale a lot though so don't buy them full price just add them to your wish list if you have a switch and i guarantee they'll go on sale like half or more usually unless they're new if they're newer then yeah they won't go on sale for a bit but um i've got so much stuff i i'm getting overwhelmed <laughs> I need, I need better organization. Hold on, let me do this. Also, guys, I almost didn't stream today because I'm actually running off about three and a half hours of sleep. <laughs> so I'm impressed I'm even streamed almost like two hours today. You need to wake up in two hours? No, wait a minute, we're both good. You're going to be running on three hours of sleep as well, Quartz. Oh, no. Courts, you gotta get to bed. Not that I don't enjoy your company, it's always appreciated, but you gotta get some rest. You're not going to- you're just gonna stay up? Have you gotten any sleep? I'm gonna just drop all that trash in there. I guess it's only worth one though. Someone probably likes artifacts. I've never sold a silver kelp. Um, I haven't sold a bronze larkspur. I've apparently sold those. Shoot, I forgot to deliver the tomatoes to whoever needs it. Got three energy drinks for the day. <laughs> oh, you'll be fine then. You're great. Oh, no. You need to finish your project timeline and budget before Friday. Oh, that sounds intimidating. But good luck with that. <laughs> I want to put that in there, but I'll just put in the crop chest. The crop chest is also full. Oh, uh, I'm gonna need to build more chests. I was hoping though, before I built more that I would unlock like a bigger chest. But alas, I have not. A dehydrator? Woo! I made bank. Did you see that? A thousand dollars. There's a festival. Oh, there's a festival. We gotta check it out because I missed the last one. Okay. What's a dehydrator? Removes moisture from ocean loot and produces dried artisan goods. Ooh, fancy. For context, you're starting finals project. Oh, that's a big one then. It's also the strat to my company. Ah, wait, like you are ma planning to run a company or is it like company for a project or the com a company you work at? Because I know you were looking for a job. Start a company. Okay. Nice. That's cool. Have the whole plan ready before you leave college. Whoops, I watered the, uh... See, I'm the type to, uh... You know the Gru meme? Where it's like, make a plan, something, do the plan, and then throw the plan away? 
That's me. I make all kinds of plans and I don't do anything with them. Oh. Where's this festival at? I don't know. Uh. Wait, what is it? Oh, I have a skill point in... Ooh, finding artifacts. That could be cool. Starting a company, but still going to be working a 9 to 5 for a few years. That makes sense. That's what a lot of people do. Uh, where's the, the, two papaya, attend the tree planting festival. Paul needs a tomato. I don't know where the tree, oh wait, the tree planting festival is the one I missed. festival was today i'll just walk around till i find festival gate you have four. Oh, turning fiber into hay to sell oh does hay sell for a lot oh it's the animal festival that's right oh okay between 9 a.m and 2 p.m oh kitty oh peanut oh you're so cute peanut I used to have an orange kitty named Peanut. She was very adorable. She lived 15 years. Or 14. 14 or 15. She was old. <laughs> very cute kitty though. We named her Peanut because she liked to chase the peanuts. What is this catwalk though? <laughs> Hi, Butter. Oh, I want Butter. I want all the kitties. Yeah, I just unlocked the dehydrator, so I'll have to check it out. Hi, Macy. I don't want to riz you up any more than I have, so... Thank you so much! I don't know if you liked that. Um... It's almost nine. Macy just did a whirlwind move into a pair of pajamas. Okay, Theo's over there, so we might sell for five. Oh, okay. I know that the kelp essence sells for a lot, which the game does tell you that. Do I have another bouquet? Yes, here we go. Great, thank you. Uh, the red boat there, it's more than just a vessel to me, it's my father's legacy. He spent countless hours on these waters, just like I do now. I won't lie, I don't know if Theo's the one just because I'm not a big fisher. I don't like fishing that much. I don't like fishing in most games either, which I've talked about before. Dredge was like my favorite fishing mechanic. Hello. Man, I love this outfit. This is a sick outfit. Oh my gosh, that is such great. Can you guys hear me? There we go. Did you get did I lose you guys for a second? Okay, good, good. It said my bitrate was unstable. And it said the stream was offline. So I was like, hmm. So no idea. Uh just Twitch doing Twitch things. I've been here since dawn helping to get the animals and decorations ready. Well, that sounds exhausting. Wait a minute. No, the kitty shouldn't be fighting. <gasps> this is nice. Maybe the town will have an event for bonsai in the future. Something like a design contest, maybe. It said that to me, too. I thought you closed the stream out of nowhere. Oh, no, so it did go offline for a second. Oh, no. 
Ah, oh, Kenny is such a good animal whisperer. He has a gift. That's not good. Hopefully that the VOD is still one VOD, otherwise... Well... Oh well, I guess. We'll see. I'll have to edit it if that's the case. Hi, Waku. Can't believe it's the middle of summer. Okay, what do I do? Registration. Sure. You can't join this competition. I didn't think so, but... Oh, wait, what's this one? Is this the cow thing? I don't have a cow. I don't have much of anything to my name. Can I start anything in this festival? What's this one? Start chicken competition. Nope. Oh wait, I might be able to do this. Start rodeo. Yes. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no, I should have practiced. Oh. Oh, I see. It's a quick time event. I'm guessing it's gonna get faster and faster. But so far it's really easy. Especially since the thing moves in the direction that they're at. Mark was like, what? Her power level's over 9,000! Oh, I almost missed that one, though! That one went really fast. Oh, well, we're gonna be here all day unless this thing speeds up. I'm sure most, there are probably people out there who are gonna last longer than me. Do I- do I get a prize for this, though? If I win? I'd look at chat, but at the second I look at chat... He's like, you're so good at this! I will lose, because I can't do that at once. Man, I wish I was this good at, like, one of these rodeo bulls. I haven't tried one in years. Oh, I messed up! I haven't tried one in years, but the last time I tried it, I got I got bucked off so quickly. Woo, it's going so fast now. I almost missed that one. That was close. I don't know if there's like a time limit. Does it kick me off eventually? I'm assuming I beat all the NPCs at this point though, if there's a competition of this. I'm also extremely competitive though, so... Oh, I messed up now. Otter! Another otter! Oh my gosh, we have two otters in chat now. Welcome! How are you? Look at all that stuff I got. Oh my goodness. Yep. We we have a new otter as as of today. Now I got otter A and B. <laughs> uh Shion joined joined. Oh look, I can look at the pet. But I can't do anything with any of these. Leave the festival. Yep. Otter fans all around. Oh wow, stream really did start over on me. Oh, I see it says like 10 minutes now. I'm gonna literally have to slice together <laughs> two videos. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh look, my, my sap though. So yeah, if uh, um, av av avocado otter, now I'm gonna have to figure out how to separate these. I might say Shion for Shion and then otter for other otter. I don't know. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we're actually like two and a half hours in. Stream restarted itself and I was gonna end soon. <laughs> 
What if, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to not put that artisan product up. In case. It, uh, in case, you know. <gasps> My relationship with Lily improved. 